Dance the Black Korean again, and I needed to answer a question that uh, I was asked a long time ago, and I have not been ignoring the person or the question. It's a very, uh, can be a very confusing process, so I was trying to find the most simple way to answer the question, and with the help of my friend Ashley, thank you, Ashley, uh, I think, I, I think I've made it simple. But the question came from Jamila265. Uh, sorry for making you wait. I greatly apologize. And um, her question was regarding fingerprinting, criminal uh, record check in the USA. So, first thing that I would suggest is going to www.adventureteaching.com. I will leave that website at the bottom of the video as well. When you get to that website, look at the top. I think it's in the middle. You want to click on Visa Process. Uh, then click on Everyone But Canadians. After that, click on View Process Checklist PDF. When that PDF file go, uh, comes up, go to page six. Page six is where the criminal record check instructions start. So uh, it's very, very helpful, a lot of information. A uh, great thing about using a recruiter is the recruiters go through all of this with you and they should be able to answer your questions and really help you through the process. Um, but I will point out some key things. One of the most important things, you do not need a nationwide or federal criminal record check to teach in Korea at this moment. All you need is a statewide criminal record check or CRC. Uh, also, the criminal record check or CR CRC has many names and it depends on what state that you are living in or you're getting your criminal ch uh, check from. So it could be called a criminal record check, criminal history report, criminal clearance report, live scan report, watch report, blah, 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 blah. You get it. Uh, also, the check must be issued by a state level, level government office and it must be issued on letterhead, the official letterhead. Sorry about that. Um, but once again, doesn't need to be federal or nationwide. There are two types of uh, statewide criminal checks. You have the name and birthday check, which is real simple, real brief, and it's cheaper, but could cause you a lot more problems in the long run. Most of the schools and recruiters now are really pretty much require the fingerprint check, which is the second type of check. It's a little more, but and but it's more accurate, okay? And really that's what everybody wants. They want that really accurate fingerprint check, make sure you're not a, you know, you're not a criminal or what have you. So, um the process does vary state from state, so you would need to speak with whoever is in your state that handles that. Um, also, the police department or wherever you go to get the statewide check may will probably ask you who the check is for. And I know that was part of uh, Jamila's concern. They may ask you who the check is for. I know a lot of times certain checks are done for teachers in the state if you tell them you are teaching English or planning to teach English in Korea or whatever country you're going to, there should be no problem. They should be able to send the check to you or allow you to come pick it up. For me, the the little background check thing, I actually went to the station and I think it was like maybe 15 or 20 minutes, they gave it to me and they also gave it to me notarized. It ask them if they can notarize it for you. It will make it a lot easier for you. You have a lot of notarizing to do. So ask them if they can notarize that for you before you leave the station or if they're sending it to you, ask them to notarize it first. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, uh, with the fingerprinting, if I remember correctly, they actually sent, yeah, they did. They sent the fingerprinting um, results to me to my house and I think that took about two weeks but I'm gonna say that process may take two to four weeks uh, my friend actually Ashley actually had some issues with hers and I believe hers took a little longer maybe like four weeks so give yourself two to four weeks and expecting those um, forms and all those results back <clears throat> and um, lastly 
on that same PDF file, if you go to scroll down to page nine, you will actually see the CRC contact information for every state in the USA. I'm not sure if you've gone there yet, but if you haven't, uh, it would be great to check that out because they may be able to offer you more information than I'm able to. So I know you said you're from, I think you said you're from Philadelphia. I mean, Pennsylvania. So um, I'm going to go ahead and give you the website and phone number. And if you're living in Pennsylvania, the website you will want to contact um, or jump on is www.psp dot s t a t e dot p a dot u s slash p a t c h the phone number in pennsylvania is seven one seven seven eight three five five nine three and hopefully this information is helpful to you if there's anything i forgot or anything i could explain better or any other questions you may have do not hesitate to send me a message to my inbox or comment on my page or comment on the video. And I will do my best to answer your questions the best I can. Just give me a little time right now, guys, because in about two hours, it'll be two days before I leave Korea. So I have a lot of packing going on and a lot of moving and preparing all kinds of stuff. And so it, it's a little crazy right now. But once I get settled down back in the States for a minute, I will have more time to upload videos quicker. And um, I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you're looking forward to it. I thank you so much for your subscriptions. Let all your friends know. Tell them they must subscribe. Tell them all the cool people subscribe to my page. It's true. So um, I hope you have a great night. Hope I answered your questions. And I will see you soon. Bye.